Baylor extended their losing streak to three straight games on Saturday, falling to TCU 33-23 for their fifth loss to the Horned Frogs in the last six years. The Bears got off to yet another slow start, allowing TCU to jump out to a 27-0 lead within the first 17 minutes of the game, which proved to be too large of a deficit for Baylor to overcome. Starting fast, man. We haven't been able to start fast. We haven't been able to jump the gun on anybody. We haven't been able to come out and do exactly right 100% of the time. Uh, I think we've had great practices. We put them all back to back, uh, especially this week. But at this point, it's all about just showing up. A usually stingy Bears defense was anything but stingy in the first half, giving up their largest point total of the season before the half was even over. The Frogs did most of their damage on the ground rushing for a total of 247 yards on the day thanks to a strong performance from freshman running back duo Darwin Barlow and Zach Evans. Kind of had some miscommunications, some misplays. We gave up a big play uh, and missed tackles. And, you know, we kind of dug ourselves into a hole that we had to try and get out of all game. Both the Baylor offense and defense picked up the pace in the second half. The Bears defense only allowed three points in the half, and the Bears offense scored 16 of their 23 points in the final two quarters. Charlie Brewer finished his day with 203 yards, two touchdowns, and a pick, with tight end Ben Sims hauling in both of the Bears' passing touchdowns. Running back Craig Squirrel Williams had 82 yards and a touchdown on eight carries, and Tresson Ebner piled up a game-high 204 all-purpose yards. We have to build, to build a mindset to start the game that we're in attack mode from the beginning. And like I said, that, that starts with me. The Bears will be back on the road next week when they'll face 23rd ranked Iowa State in Ames. For Lariat TV News, I'm Nate Smith.